Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday of the eighth week of the term, which means this is the last week of the term. But this video is my thoughts and challenges during week seven, which ended yesterday. Week seven was pretty busy, and that is why I am filming today, Monday, which is part of the last week of this term. Week seven was pretty busy. For my leadership and management class, I had quite a bit of reading. <laughs> like always. This class definitely has been the class that I have had the most reading assigned during the eight weeks and I'm glad this class is ending because it definitely has been a lot and it has required a lot of hours of reading. Typically I dedicate Monday and Tuesday to this class and I focus on just finishing my reading assignments during Monday and Tuesday of the week. So as I mentioned earlier we had quite a bit of reading and we also had one discussion the week's topics included labor laws, meetings, and employee development and training. We also had a discussion, as I mentioned earlier, the discussion was on meetings and it focused on identifying one thing out of our reading, which we believed was the most important thing for an efficient meeting. And also we had to identify one thing that we believe happens quite often in meetings and is non-productive. That initial response to the week's discussion is due on Wednesday and then the second part of the discussion is to reply to two of my classmates which I completed the discussion pretty early in the week. And we also had two additional assignments. We had the last part of the course project, which consisted of completing an employee appraisal. It was pretty interesting to be on the other side of an employee appraisal because during 14 years I was on the receiving side of an employee appraisal and I was the one being evaluated and written about. So this activity was interesting because it was a reversed role and we had to evaluate our employee named Sue who we followed along during our course project and that was the last part of the course project. It was only worth 25 points. That particular assignment did not take a a lot of time and I began working on it yesterday morning and I finished it fairly quickly and I went ahead and I turned it in. Our second assignment consisted of creating a PowerPoint presentation that consisted of 20 slides geared towards our HIM employees. In this case we needed to create this presentation as the HIM manager and as I mentioned earlier this week we focused on employee development and this was the activity that was related to that topic. For the presentation Again, it was 20 slides. It has been the biggest presentation I've ever put together in school and in general. We were able to pick our own topic and I selected health literacy. This is a topic that I've been curious about and I wanted to explore a little bit more and I figured this was a great opportunity to do that. So I created a PowerPoint presentation with 20 slides on health literacy and we also were required to include a quiz, a five question quiz, and that could be included in our PowerPoint presentation which I did include my five question quiz at the end of my presentation and we also needed to create a certificate of achievement for the training. This presentation took me quite a bit of time. I started working on it on Thursday and I also worked on it on Friday. I took Saturday off this week because we needed to file our taxes and we needed to leave town to meet with our tax specialist and that pretty much took the whole day. We were away from from home for basically the whole day. So I didn't do anything on Saturday regarding school, but I finished reviewing my PowerPoint presentation yesterday. That was the last assignment I had to turn in. And basically yesterday I had left the PowerPoint presentation almost completely done. Yesterday was just a review of the whole presentation and paying attention to the small details like spelling, fonts, and all those little small details that do really make a difference when you're creating a PowerPoint presentation. Presentation. So I officially was done with all my work for my management and leadership class yesterday night. It was about seven o'clock when I finally turned in the presentation and I am excited to see what grade I get on the presentation. It did require a lot of work and I hope I get a good grade. For my HIM practicum class, during the seventh week we concentrated most of our time completing our internship and completing and submitting all our documents 
that our teacher needs in order for us to give us credit for our internship, which consisted of turning in our project for our internship. She also wanted two evaluations, a student evaluation and a facilitator evaluation. And we also needed to turn in our timesheet slash journal. As I mentioned in the past, I completed my internship with my professor. She was my facilitator and my internship was geared towards teaching, which is the career I want to pursue in HIM once I graduate and earn my bachelor's degree in HIM and earn my RHIA certification. Project one is completely done and I went ahead and I turned it in. My student evaluation, I did complete a while ago and I forwarded it to my instructor and she has to sign off on it before I turn it in. And I'm waiting to hear back from her, so I have not turned that in. I'm still waiting for her to also send back her evaluation, the facilitator evaluation that I also have to turn in. And my timesheet and journal, I also did not turn in because there was something else my facilitator, also my instructor wanted me to complete before submitting my timesheet. And she did not forward that additional assignment to me until yesterday. She did say that if we needed additional time with any of these documents, she would be able to grant us more time, but it definitely has to be in by the end of the eighth week, which is the end of the eighth week is on Sunday. That will be the end of the term as well. I am waiting for her to return all my documents and I will be sending her my timesheet journal for her to sign off on that as well. So for this class, things are definitely ending fairly quickly. We also had two discussions to do during the seventh week. One consisted of watching a 45 minute video on St. Clair's Memorial Hospital HIM department which consisted of an overview of their HIM department. The video, even though it was very long, it was very interesting. I did enjoy watching the video. The video went over some very traditional HIM roles. They also introduced us to other roles outside the HIM department that HIM individuals held. The HIM professionals outside the HIM department were RHIAs, but they also had other specialty certifications outside of AHIMA. So it was very interesting to see these HIM professionals and other roles other than traditional HIM roles. Once we watched the video, we needed to post to the discussion. The teacher wanted us to post a reply discussing the similarities and differences between St. Clair Memorial Hospital and the site where we completed our professional practice experience, also known as the PPE. For me, of course, it was a little bit different because I did not have a traditional PPE. Mine, again, was geared towards teaching but I compared the St. Clair Memorial Hospital HIM department to my previous HIM department at the local hospital where I worked 14 years. We also had a second discussion to complete and it was on basically summarizing our professional practice experience, our PPE, and really focusing on what we learned and how our previous coursework helped us complete our PPE project. And she also wanted us to discuss the highlight of our PPE. In general, my PPE again was a little bit different than the rest of my classmates and I did talk about my project. I mentioned that I wanted to pursue a teaching career in HIM once I graduate from the program. The highlight of my PPE was meeting with my facilitator who mentored me and who is an HIM professional with many many years of experience both in HIM and as an educator. I was really 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 lucky to have my professor accept me as her intern because I did learn a lot from her. She has been the closest I've ever been to having a mentor in my future role as an HIM instructor. Anyways, overall things have been busy but not as busy as other terms. This term has definitely been a lot easier to handle. The work has been a lot less. Yes, it was very very heavy on reading but everything else was pretty manageable and as I mentioned before, a lot of the coursework I have to complete, it's not hard. It's just very, very time consuming. And I also strive to do the best work I can and I don't want to miss any assignments. School is my priority and I want to do a good job. I am investing time and money. Going back to school has not only impacted my life, but my family's life. And I want to do the best I can as a student. Right now at this moment, going to school is my priority and I see it as my job. 
job. I want to perform the best I can because that is the way I feel I am doing my part and contributing to my family future. Anyways, week eight starts today, so I better get going. Before I go, I do want to thank you for following my journey as an HIM student. I hope these video diaries help you understand what you will encounter as a future HIM student or it inspires you to go back to school. Well, that is it for this week and I will see you soon. Goodbye.